Hello and welcome to the third video in this series looking at NS task in OSX. So in this video we're actually going to start adding our task to class to the project. So down on the bottom left I'm going to click on the plus and new file and underneath OSX click on Coco and then select Objective C class and we're just going to call this class then BF and I'm going to call it our task with full imagination next make sure it's uh, targets in the project and wait for my computer which is steam powered at the moment to actually generate it and I've just realized I had the project selected there when I created this so I'm just going to drag and drop these into the NS task tutorial group okay so what do we want our, uh, our task to be able to do well from the outside to so something that's actually running our class because our class will be an object inside the app delegate we actually only need a couple of um, functions. We need to be able to send a command, so we'll type a function out called send command, and this uh, function will take as an argument an NS string, and I'll just call this command. And I'm sorry about the typing already, but my computer's running, as I've said, as if it's running on Steam this morning, and uh, there's a huge delay between the keys I type and what I see on the screen. And the next function we need then is just a start task. Uh, function for when we press the start button inside the GUI. So I'll just take these two functions now then and drop into the implementation files, the .m file, and just quickly create the skeleton of these with the correct brackets. And now we can start thinking about how the task is actually, or this class is actually going to run a task. Well, a task is based around the something called an NS task object, which is declared as so. So NS capital T A S K and then a pointer and then we'll just call ours task. And if I click on the NS task here inside the quick help, you get a quick des description of what it is. It's basically what we're looking for in this, which is a class which handles the running of a subprocess and wherefrom you can monitor the status and also crucially in this case read the standard error, standard output, standard and write to the standard input, which is exactly what we want to do. So now we have our task set up, we need to actually create and launch our task, which we're going to do inside the start task section or function here. So I'll just scroll things down a little bit and we can start writing out the code. I'm just going to make some spaces down the bottom and scroll this a bit more to save some space. Okay, so the first thing to do with our task then is actually allocate the task and I'm going to say uh, ns, oops, sorry, not ns, task equals and then some double brackets and ns task alloc and init as usual. So we've allocated and initialized our task object as usual with every other class in Objective C. And then what we want to do is we want to do something called setting the launch path. So we'll do set and launch path. And I'm just for now, I'll actually hard code this in probably in the next video, the actual launch path to the um, little C program, repeater C program I've got that we'll use in this uh, in this example. But for now we'll just leave this empty because we're not going to run this yet in, in, this, in, in this video. The next thing we need to do is, if any, we need to set the arguments for our task. And in this example we're not going to actually set any arguments, so we're just going to give it an empty NS array. Um, if you want to see an example with arguments, and I'm quite happy to do one and extend this a little bit, but um, it's fairly self-explanatory. Just set an array up with all the separate uh, arguments defined inside here, and it then sends those as arguments when running the program. And now probably the most crucial part in terms of what the functionality that we want in this tutorial series, so the input and output communication, we need to set up or create some pipes. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a pipe to the standard output of the um, of the tasks that we can read whatever the task sends as output. So the way we do this is we call a function called set standard output and it takes an ID and it's actually going to be a pipe and we'll just create a new NS pipe and we can do this using another very very handy class in Objective-C, the NS pipe class, and we simply need to call the new on NS pipe. And again, if you want to read a bit more about NS pipe, I'd recommend it. There's a really good description inside the, the, the documentation from Apple, um, but it's very similar to the normal pipes you're probably familiar with, say, when you're um, doing this in Linux. What we also want to do, so for completeness really, is set the standard error as well 
to the standard output also of our task. So the standard error also comes through the standard output. So we'll just do it this way. We can say that then we'll set it to the task and then we can access like this, the standard output in this way. And equally, just as we've done for the standard output, we also need to make a pipe for the standard input. So we can say set standard input and then again NS pipe and new. The last thing we need to do then now that we set up our pipes actually is actually just launch our task. So we just need to, oops, not tack but type task and then launch. And that's it. If we ran this with a path that actually pointed to an executable, then we would now have with a pipe connected to the output and input with the error redirected onto the standard output, we would have two pipes connected up to a task which the NS our task object would then be, or a subprocess which our task object would then be monitoring. We don't have any way of quitting the task or anything at the moment or sending any commands or reading the output, but the task itself would launch from this code alone. The last thing I want to do in this video before leaving is actually fill out this function here that we'll be using to actually send, because it's the simplest of the two functions, to actually send something to our task. The way we're going to do this is we'll take in our command will be simply the text that inside the GUI we've entered inside this text field here before we hit send. And then when we click on send, what will happen is inside our our task, this send command will be called and the argument will be the text that was inside that text field. But as a sort of a habit, the thing I like to do um, is always append a new line character onto the end of um, any string that comes in in this way because it won't have one. So I'm just going to make an NS string and I'd, I'm not sure whether this is the best way of doing this but it's the way I do it and I apologize if it's not. Um, I'm just going to say NS string end of file command is equal to NS string and then string with ooh, string with format um, and then just the the percentage and the at to take in the command and then appending a new line on the end of it like so just so that we have a new line on the end. And now what we need to do to be able to, oops, I need a pointer in there, to be able to actually send this um, down our pipe into uh, uh, on, into the standard input of the subprocess we're running. If you're familiar with C, you'll be familiar that usually when you're reading from pipes, you read in, you get the data in bytes or not, uh, not reading in characters. So we need to convert this string actually into an NS data. Um, so and then we send our data into the input. So I'll just type ns data and just call this data. And ns data provides um, a really handy method. So we'll just take our end of file command, and then all we need to say is data using oops using encoding, and then we want to use the as is nearly always used these days the ns utf8 string encoding so this using ns utf8 will encode our string then into bytes and then last but not least all we need to do is take the standard input of our task and then we need to ask for a file handle um, for writing of course because we're writing to it file handle for writing and then we call the write data on this file handle for writing and we simply then write our data. Another way of doing this of course will be to actually inside the start task is actually store in a variable of this class the handle for the file handle and simply call the write data but I've, I've done it this way around it doesn't really in this case matter. And the last but not least what I want to do here is I'm just going to ns log this to the console for later on when we actually run this command uh, say written and I'll just print to the console the command that we actually wrote so that we know that everything is okay. And I don't need the new line on that because NSLog already appends a new line. Okay then, so hopefully that was fairly clear so far. There's nothing to run as yet because what we're going to do is implement the functions and then we'll do some connections up to the GUI to actually be able to send and in fact, maybe in the next video we'll already start uh, connecting things up to the GUI so can, we can at least start the task and send a command to it. So I hope that made some sense and see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.